hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy let's solve this problem so it is said that the truss shown is composed of 45 degree right triangles right so we have all of these triangles are 45 degree right triangles and it is said that the cross members in these two uh, center panels are slender tie rods right so they are incapable of compression right so it is said that retain the two rods which are under tension and compute the magnitudes of their tension right so we have to keep that rods which are under tension since these two tie rods uh, these tie rods in these two center panels cannot support the compression right so it is said that also find the force in member mn so first of all what we will do is that we have to identify that which tie rod is in, in in compression right so if we examine this whole truss so as we can see that it is subjected to two forces it is subjected to 80 kN force in the horizontal direction and it is subjected to 100 kN force in the vertical direction right so if we draw the resultant of both of these so by graphically we can say that this is 80 kN and 100 kilonewton is acting vertically downward so the resultant of both of these two force will be from the tail of the first to the head of the last right so this will be the resultant of both of these two right so this is the the resultant of both of these two forces exerts a force on the truss in this direction right so as a reaction the truss will apply the force in the opposite direction right so this will be the reaction of the truss right so let me write that this is reaction of the truss right and this is the re the resultant of the applied force right so this means that all the members which are parallel to this resultant right so we can say that this member this member and this member they will be in compression right and we can see that this member and this member they will be in tension right so now we have identified that this this fl and this em both of these tie rods will be in compression right so what we will do is that we will remove them right so they they will not come into our calculation since it is said that retain the two rods which are under tension right so these two rods are in tension right so we will we will keep them and then we can remove them since they are in compression right now to solve this problem first we will find the reactions at this roller support right so as we can see that here uh, we will have one reaction which will be acting vertically upward right so let's say that that reaction is b right so this is reaction b and here we will have two reaction one reaction will be acting vertically upward and there will be one reaction which will be acting in this direction right so let's say this is a y and let's say this is a x right so now if we apply the summation of moment about point a equals to zero and if we consider that the counterclockwise moment is positive right so as we can see that this b is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point a and first of all let's assume that all these lengths are equal to x let's say all these lengths are x this j h g h g f all these lengths are equal to x right and all these angles are 45 degrees since it is said that all the triangles are 45 degree right triangles right so and again if i draw a horizontal line here so as we can see that if this angle is 45 degree so this angle is 90 degrees so this means that this angle is 45 degrees right so if this length is x if this length is x so then this angle this length is also x since the angle is 45 degrees right and similarly if this angle is 45 degrees so this angle is also 45 degrees right same as this angle is 45 degrees so this angle is 45 this angle is also 45 so this means that this length is also x right so from c to this point this is x and from this point to b this is x right so this means that this bc length is 2x so let me write it here as 2x right so now if we apply the summation of moment about point a equals to 0 so this b is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point a so i will write b 
and the perpendicular distance of this b from that point a is equal to 6x right since we have 6x right 1 2 3 4 5 6 right so we will write that this is 6x into b right and it is producing the counterclockwise moment right similarly this 100 kN force is producing the clockwise moment about that point a so i will write minus 100 and the perpendicular distance of this 100 kN force from that point A is 1, 2, 3, 4x, right? So, we will multiply this with 4x. And similarly, this 80 kN force is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point A. So, we will write plus and this is 80. And the perpendicular distance of this 80 kN force from that point A is 2x, right? So, we will multiply this with 2x and this is equal to 0. So now if we divide this whole equation by x, so we will be left with all constants, right? So this is 6b. So we can write that 6b or we can write that b will be equal to 100 into 4 minus 80 into 2 divided by 6, right? So this is 240 divided by 6. So this means that the reaction at b equals to 40 kilonewton. So now we can write that this is equal to 40 kilo newton right now uh, since we are required to find the tension forces in this fn and this gm right so first what what i will do is that i will pass a cutting section from this fn and this mn since we are required this mn2 right so we are required to find the tension in in both these tie rods and the force in this MN member, right? So, what we will do is that we will pass a cutting section from this EF member, this FN and this MN, right? So, if we pass a cutting section, so then we will, we will consider this right side of the cutting section, right? So, now we are considering this right side, right? So, this angle is 45, we know right and this we can write that this this is ef this one is fn this is fn and this one is mn right so now if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to zero and let's say that the this is our positive direction right so the, if we resolve this fn force into its components right so it will have two components uh, it will have one component which will be acting upwards right so this is the sine component and it will have one component which will be acting in this direction right since we are adding the forces in the vertical direction so we will have this component which is acting in the positive direction so we will write that this is fn sine of 45 degrees and it is acting in the positive direction so you will write plus right and similarly this 100 kilonewton force is acting in the negative direction so you will write minus 100 and similarly this b force is acting in the positive direction so you will write plus and this is 40 and this is equal to 0 so from this fn equals to 100 minus 40 divided by sine of 45 degrees so from this fn equals to 84.85 kilo newton and since this is positive and fn is acting away from this joint end so this means that this is the tension force right now to find this m mn member force what we will do is that we will apply the summation of moment about point e equals to zero right and let's say that the counterclockwise moment is positive right so now as we can see that this ef is passing through this point e this 100 kilonewton is passing through that point e right so only uh, this fn and this mn will produce the moment about this point e and this b will produce the moment about that point e so now if this if we observe this mn force so it is producing the clockwise moment about that point e so we will write mn and the perpendicular distance of this mn from that point e is this distance this is x right so we will multiply this with x and since it is producing clockwise moment so we will write minus 
Similarly, if we observe both the components of this Fn, right, so this sine component is passing through that point E, so it will not produce the moment about that point E, so only this class component is producing the clockwise moment about that point E, so I will write minus, and this is the component of Fn, and Fn is now known, right, so Fn is 84.85 cos of 45 degrees, and again the perpendicular distance of this class component from that point E is this x, right? So we will multiply this with x. And similarly this B force is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point E, right? So about that point E it is producing the counterclockwise moment. So I will write plus and this is 40 and the perpendicular distance of this 40 kN force from that point E is this 2x, right? So we will multiply this with 2x and this is equal to 0 and again if we divide this whole equation by x so we will be left with constants right so this is 40 into 2 right so from this we can write that minus mn equals to 84.85 cos of 45 degrees minus 80 or if we multiply both sides with minus so this will become plus this is minus this is plus so from this mn equals to 20 kilonewton since the sign is positive so this means that mn is acting away from this joint end so this means that this is the tension force now to find that uh, gm member force what we need to do is that we need to pass another cutting section right so now we will pass a cutting section from these three members, right? So this GF, this GM, and this LM, right? So if we pass a cutting section, right? So we will have this GF member force, this GM member force, and this LM member force, right? And again, we will consider this right side of the cutting section. So we will have this GF member force, this LM, this GM, this LM, right? So let me write that this is GF this one is gm and this one is lm right and again this angle is 45 degrees so now again if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to zero and if this is our positive direction so as we can see that this gm will have two components it will have one component which will be acting vertically upward and it will have one component in this direction right so as we can see that this component is acting in the positive direction so we will write plus and this is the sine component so we will write gm sine of 45 degrees this is acting in the positive direction similarly this 100 kilonewton is acting in the negative direction so i will write minus 100 and this b is acting in the positive direction so we will write plus 40 and this is equal to 0 so from this gm equals to 100 minus 40 divided by sine of 45 degrees so from this gm equals to again 84.85 kilonewton and again as we have identified this gm force is the tension force right so this is the tension force from this positive sign this concludes that this gm is tension force right so as we can see that gm is equal to fn right so we can conclude that both the tie rods which are in tension have the same force right which is 84.85 kilonewton right so this is the solution of this particular problem